Okay, so today, as it's sort of become a Thanksgiving tradition of mine, I'm going to do my little Red Dead Bounty Hunter series. So it basically is just the, I'll tell you the basic criteria of how I originally came up with it. This was many, many, many years back, like maybe 10 years back, even when I wasn't streaming, but just it's a cool format in which you just try, you like make a new character, let's say, and you try to get your bounty as high as you possibly can. By Obviously, it's like an evil playthrough just to qualify it. Like, whatever, if somehow that's controversial to do. But, I mean, the game allows you to do it. You're going in there, you're trying to uh, get your bounty as high as you can, killing civilians, killing officers of the law. They kind of chase you around dynamically, and it's fun, but they kind of... The big difference between this and GTA, the GTA series, why that's not fun is like you can try to get a max wanted level, like five stars or six stars, depending on the game, and then it just never goes away. So you can try to run around and try to survive as long as you can, but th that's not as fun as here. Because here they'll send like a huge army after you if you have a ton of bounty, but then if you kill them all or get away, then they stop for a while. Then you can go about your business, do a mission, do whatever. And then you can they'll chase you again. So it's more dynamic because it feels more like there's a there's a win condition to each encounter. Whereas with that, you just if you get away, it's over. And if you don't, you die, you know, or you get locked up in GTA. Here is kind of a good persistent value thing that I almost said games like Skyrim should have, like where if you have a bounty in a town, the guards will just attack you and that's it. There's no way to be evil while still interacting with towns and interacting with like I guess if you do like the Dark Brotherhood or whatever, but still, <clears throat> there's no way to be evil and still play the game normally. It, usually games just completely put you in a box and you're just fucked, right? This is one rare game where that's actually done really well, where you can have a 100,000 bounty and wear your little bandana, or even if you don't wear it, right? You can just walk around town and interact with people and go to the shop. Right, and occasionally you'll get attacked by bounty hunters and stuff. Ironic, right? The the hunter becomes the hunted, but and that's my whole channel art thing too. I, I don't know if I have it. I should use that as an AFK screen or a title screen for this stream. How could I have forgotten to use that ice stream? But basically, yeah, that's what it is. You make a new character or whatever, a character who's out of the tutorial, who just has zero bounty, and you go and you get as much as you can before you die. If you die, you have to reset at zero. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to continue from like where I left off last year or last time I did this. It's not that I only do it on Thanksgiving, not like Skyrim, where I only do that on Christmas. Like I literally don't play Skyrim aside from Christmas, you know, the little Christmas special tradition I have for that. This I, I've done other times, but mainly I want to make sure I do it here, just whatever. And that, that shows you the commitment. You have to stay true to yourself no matter what. Like my schedule has shrunk down. I haven't had as much time to stream. You know, everything's been kind of fucked up. I changed my setup. Everything's messed up, but I still find a way, right, somehow, despite how annoying this is to do, because you have to set up the PS3. That's one of the most annoying things I've ever had to do in my gaming streaming history. You have to have, like, a, a splitter, this Ori thing, then you have the capture card, then you have the PS3, then you have to... You can't launch it on the title screen of the PS3 because then it'll crash and you'll have to redo it. So you have to go into the game. Like there's so many fucking stupid things you have to do. And it cost me like hundreds of dollars to, to set it all up. I remember being pissed when I was first doing that. It was just how annoying it was to whatever, get the streaming set up. Let me go find that piece of art. But basically, yeah, we're, we're going to start at like a halfway point because I think, OK, let's say whatever amount I got to last year. And that would be fair and part of the format, too. Right. The point is, if you die, you have to reset from the beginning. But here it's like it's no fun to start at zero for me, especially when I don't have a ton of time to do it. Right. If you're doing it for like a 12 hour stream or something crazy, then you, do, you don't care. But I'm going to start at like a high value that let's say we got to last time. So the principle behind that is like, okay, I got to 15k bounty, let's say, without dying. So then I quit out and I can come back. It's not like you can't stop playing or you have to do it in one sitting. And then you come back at 15k and then you get to 30k. And so it's a cumulative thing. Uh, so of course I shouldn't die at all, but... Like, I do this shit once a year, and I don't even have the presence of mind to show off my one piece of art. So the whole joke is obviously just that, you know, oh, I'm going to go hunt bounties, and the officer's happy about it. Sure, we could use some help. Because normally, a bounty means you're going out and killing a criminal who has a bounty on their head. But in this case, we're hunting for bounty in terms of trying to get our own on our own head as high as possible. So, ironic. Let's go ahead and start from whatever high total I have. 
And I'm not going to say if I die that it's necessarily over, but I've never beaten the game and I've never done Undead Nightmare. And this kind of shows you the greatness of open world, world games. And this game doesn't even have a ton of stuff to do in the open world that's all that interesting. But all I ever did was like, oh, I'm going to go do a mission. And then I never do. And 10 hours later, I'm still fucking around, you know, wandering around because the bounty mechanic is so fun just with the, with the way they dynamically chase you. It's very different from the way GTA works. And it's much better, in my opinion. Because there's a sense of permanence to it where it doesn't completely ruin your playthrough. It just kind of adds a little element to it. You know, so for example, you're going around the world and you will constantly get chased by stuff, but then they'll give you breaks. They'll run out of people to send after you. It almost makes it feel a little bit realistic. Not that it really is, but they'll send a ton of people at you. Let's say you have 20k bounty, right? You're like a whole army, but then you finish, you have an encounter, you beat them. It's like a little mini mission. And then they'll stop for a while and they have to find you again or they have to, you know, call more people. So, yeah, let's see what we're at. First of all, with the bounty level, we are at 25k. So I'm going to assume I did that last time without dying. Or maybe that's how it should be, too, because I'm such a casual and I suck so bad at a lot of the things I do lately. I'll even be humble. It's like if I die, I start at 25,792. So in other words, I only get to keep going into next time. It doesn't have to be next year if I do this again, whatever. But whatever I get only counts if I don't die. So the max we're, we can be at is 25, 79, or the, I guess the lowest we can be at is 25, 792. So if, if I get to 35 and then I die, then I go back to 25. So only when I end the session with that, I should be relevant. Now we've had too many gunfights in this saloon, so I don't want to have one here, but sometimes you don't get to choose. Or you kind of do, but... Try to get some variety. So we have 25k bounty on our head. Which means everything we do is going to be sure to be exciting. So one of these days I got to actually beat this game. I, I guess I was just waiting for the PC port. Wink, wink. Which is never going to fucking happen. And th that's how bad of a port GTA 4 was. GTA 4 was such a shit PC port. That everybody shot on it. Rightfully so. Performance sucked. Everything like that. And they never really fixed it. Rockstar themselves. Fans had to do it basically for them. And then what happens is. They said okay fuck it then. We're just not even going to try to do Red Dead. Because... Everybody hated that one so much, so you don't even get one. <clears throat> you were just relaxing, enjoying the scenery. Now, the problem is that you're going to have a situation where a hundred officers just swarm you. And even though this game has regenerating health, which should seem to make it easier, it becomes like a literal war zone. So you have to find like an environment that you want to fight at. So whether it be... What was that? See, even that's having issues somehow. Technical difficulty, but it seem to stop there i also don't know what the volume equalization is i should make like a little mini series of this too this is such a fun like that's one thing i'm always true to regardless of performance or anything else is my formats i always have so many different and unique formats that i do many of which i create like is this like an established format that people really do like sure it's probably something people have tried to do before but i've done it so many times over the years like it is really interesting to me. And again, like you might say, oh, well, it's evil and you shouldn't do it kind of a thing as if that matters. But there are plenty of other formats I do that aren't like that. So, I mean, it's only fair. This is meant to be what it is. Or maybe you're supposed to not wear the bandana. And that I forget exactly how the bandana works, to be honest with you. <clears throat> we have the kit. So the bandana hardened letter, which I don't even... You know, I wouldn't want to use that. Hides your identity so honor and fame won't change. Remove it to de decrease your wanted level faster. Honor and fame won't change. Now, I was doing this even without that thing on, but <clears throat> that would protect me too. So you can fuck around with a challenge like this. And therefore, everything will be fine. So I'm not going to, like, seek out law enforcement. Let's see how long it takes for them to come after me. You would think it shouldn't take that long. Because, yeah, I just stole somebody's money. But first of all... I have 25k, so that's quite a lot. Now, whether that makes them find you more often or whether that just means they send a higher force at you when they do find you is another matter. Because you can always try to trigger it by, like, actually killing somebody. Just unsolicited, random. At least I'll have the high ground if they do come after me. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta find these unique and interesting environments to use. But this sort of shows you just... On one hand, it shows you how I play stuff. 
But on the other hand, it shows you how you can play stuff, especially what open world games and stuff like that almost encourage. And that is to say that you can get so much value out of the game. We can have a gunfight at every possible location in the world over time dynamically, just because as we're going about our business exploring the world, if only there was more to do in the world, right? Like little, like you find chests like that and stuff, but there's nothing really super interesting from my experience at least. We found that one mine area that was kind of cool. This is where Bill or whatever shoots your dumbass at the beginning of the game. We don't want to fuck with that. We just want to fuck with a million law enforcement officers instead because clearly that would be a lot easier. You are allowed to use dead eye. You are allowed to use items or whatever. So yeah, it's just like start at zero. I, I won't even say you have to make a new character because, you know, you just have to do the tutorial over and over and that would be boring. But what you do have to do is go back to zero if you die, which even that I'm not going to follow. So I'm just trying to distinguish it from my own playthrough, which is just, you know, you can keep it going if you, well, the point is I'm not going to die, clearly. Th this is almost how I did my Skyrim thing, too. It's like... Whenever I play Skyrim, which again has only been Christmas the last couple of years, I if I die, it's like a permanent session. So that means, let's say I start the episode at College of Winterhold at level 55, and I get to 57, but then I die. Then I have to restart at level 55 back at the college. So in other words, I'm not saving it until the very end of the session. So if I'm two hours in and I'm playing for two hours and a half and I die, then that two hours of progress is gone, and I only get to keep the, the half an hour. That's a good way to do permadeath in a game that you know like you played over a thousand hours and this and that you're not going to just delete your character that just seems dumb but it's a good way to still make each session kind of memorable like that where there's still so sort of a what the fuck oh you know there's some problem with this because I hate to rely on dead eye, <clears throat> but the reality is, yeah, why is it called dead eye? Because you shoot them right in their eye. Um, like it makes me roll or something when I don't want to. So who would have thought? Now I'm a sitting duck for the fucking waste nothing, am I right? We are an evil character, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it's going to make me a sitting duck. Our horse dies to a fucking cougar. Dynamic open world fun events. What is this, Far Cry 3? Like where random stuff will attack you and you have to do a QT? But no, when I was trying to do that, I kept rolling. See, like, I always wanted to turn that off, but I can't figure out how. Okay. You have the horse. I don't, dude. Or can I ride on his horse? Oh, yeah. Now he's going to blame me. Like, oh, I didn't help him because... Or this will, like, hurt my bounty thing. This will, like, lower it because I'm doing something good. Or it'll teleport me to the sheriff's office and then I'll automatically use my pardon thing or some dumb thing like that. If you want to kill the general, shoot his horse. Yeah, normally I should have tried to do that <clears throat> without using the thing. Without using the uh, dead eye, but... What happened? Or he's just gone somewhere else. That's somebody else's horse? That was kind of a vicious attack by the cougar. He just fucking murders my horse for no reason. What a disgusting act. The victim has died. Well, I guess he wouldn't be much of a victim if he didn't. So what does that mean, dude? Now, my horse was dead, so I technically shouldn't even be allowed to use it. Just for RP purpose sake. Or I should have to steal one as a vigilante. No, I'm not even a vigilante. I'm just a straight up bandit. Yeah, I won't even use that one if I can get through the stupid tree. You should have to get it. <clears throat> okay, I get... Fuck. You should have to get him more dynamically. Where did this guy go? The law enforcement isn't really coming after me. This is an interesting spot, but it would still be way too wide open. Because the number of them that they're going to send at me are going to be kind of crazy. Okay, can you stop following me, dude? I regret calling you now. Dude, the fucking bird practice my aim. It's not even that I'm stalling, but it is cool to kind of see, at least for the first strike, <clears throat> for them to do it on their own. It's almost like a suspense game or a suspense movie, something like that, like a thriller, 
right? When will the cops strike and how will they get to me and where will it be? And, you know, how many will they send and will they send dogs and this and that? So I almost wish there was a way to turn that off. But I think I've tried many times and I never can. You're hitting the stick, but it's causing you to roll or something. Flip R1 with R2 and L1 with L2. I don't really want to mess with these too much, but Southpaw, I don't know what that means. Configuration on foot. I really don't know. <clears throat> None of the cheats should be on just to show, right, that we're not obviously doing that. Every shot counts. What would that do? Give you infinite ammo? Yeah, look at the beautiful views. Like, this game world is interesting, but the problem is that... Well, there's another horse that's asking to be taken over. Is it doesn't use the world as well as it possibly could, and the GTA games almost suffer from that a little bit, too. But that's why I like Visual Auntie Mission so much, because it gives you, like, a little mini-mission that is, you know, without any story requirement. You just go to a dynamic, varied location in the world, of which there can be many. can be, like, any, any location in the world that you could potentially have a gunfight. So it gives you a variety of areas and enemies and different stuff going on. The core experience of the game that you would normally have on a mission without needing to bog it down with story or require it. So you can have like a story caliber mission in terms of gameplay, gang fights especially, without needing anything. And you can do it an infinite number of times. And you might think that might get boring, but first of all, you don't have to do it. And second of all, it's, it's dynamic enough where... You know, there's so many different uh, environments and stuff that you're going to go to that it does keep it fresh. So I always, that was a series I did with GTA 4. <clears throat> was uh, do as many vigilante missions in a row without dying or without failing them as far as the timer and stuff. So that's really fun because, you know, whether you can heal or not in between is questionable. You should almost only be able to do it if it's like on the way. But you see how many you can do in a row without dying. And then some little silent grenade will get you when you least expect it. Okay, let's maybe seek out something. I mean, so far I've been a victim more than a killer because I've gotten screwed over. But yeah, th there is like a, a suspense element to this. Like, when are they going to strike? The bandit is hiding in the hills. Reminds me of like a Western movie, right? Where you're like just fucking... Whatever, you got your little bandit operation up here, but we work alone. They never got the chance really to play this game online. Red Dead 2 Online is still pretty popular, I think. Obviously, GTA Online is incredibly popular. It, it sort of explains a certain egotism that I always talk about in gaming. Whenever something is multiplayer, or other people are involved, it then feels like... Uh, I think my shit keeps cutting off. Um... Whenever multiplayer is involved, people are more likely to spend money because there's some sort of ego to it. Like, oh, I want to beat other people. You wouldn't do that in a single player game. Usually you might buy DLC or something, but you wouldn't like, oh, I want to buy like a better weapon or a skin. But like, why? Why would you pay money for that? But oh, it's OK because I get to show it off to other people. That makes it meaningful. Or oh, it's OK because it gives me a competitive advantage over. What is that flashing light? gives me a competitive advantage over people or something. So all the shark cards and stuff are what finance the one billion plus dollars enterprise that is going to be GTA 6. I don't know what that is. I, pro I must have been there before. I've probably been to almost every area you can go to, but it won't really mean anything unless you have a massive gunfight there. Yeah, vigilante missions do represent like have the core gameplay experience without requiring story and just do that and other like how the college of winterhold quest can be or whatever raiding quest in skyrim you can do an infinite number of ones where you get the books right for the guy and he'll send you to a a random location in the world like some cave or dungeon and it'll be like level oh shit it'll be like level appropriate and it'll be like you know various places around the world so you'll get a lot of variety from that so basically that's what you want is the core experience. It's not even the oh, the story is negligible or you're trying to ignore it, but it's more just like, I guess there's certain parts of the world where you'll just be super safe for some reason. Right, like the cops are just too lazy to come out here. I have diplomatic immunity. I guess I'm on the Mexico border or something. 
Oh. That's not even for me, though. Good excuse to get involved in combat, but let's see. Is he... F what, what is he after? He's escaped down the cliff there. Let's get him from an angle that he won't even know I hit him. Looks like we're putting him out of his misery, though. He's stuck on the cliff and he don't know what to do with himself. Now, will that cause the law enforcement to come, or do I need a witness to come to be able to see it and then report it in record time, too? I picked a fine spot to try to bait the law enforcement to me. Just remember, we do have 25k, so this is... If I get one more bounty, it'll be the highest one I've ever had, maybe. I don't know, but... <clears throat> just a good excuse to play the game period too though yeah i don't think i'm far in the game at all but yeah that, that whole topic about dynamic radiant type of quest is very interesting because it gives you sort of a core slice of the game that you can do as much as you want in as many ways are you serious man what that you can do as many ways as you want and it's just a case where i can't even see him what? You can do it as many times as you want, get environment, variety, everything everything like that. What the fuck is the are these rolls, man? You can tell I'm clearly not trying to do that. This is the only epic combat we've had so far is some fucking cougars. And some random dude who didn't even fight back. The looting system is obviously very light in this game, but all they're doing is torturing the horses. Like, come on, dude. Leave leave those out of it, at least. There is something wrong, I feel like, with the controls. Like, even there, I hit the... You or my fucking horses. You've seen that happen in front of you. Imagine how hot it would be in this suit, though, as much as it... Yeah, I don't know what's with that. I, I don't get it. Something's fucked up. I'm not going to use that as an excuse if I die, obviously, but it's always like that. And every time I say, oh, I'm going to find a fix for it, I'm going to look it up. But, oh my god, how many of these are there? And I don't even have the thing to save me this time. What? Okay, okay, that doesn't count in terms of... Now will it reset me to the... Okay, dude. You don't even need law enforcement to kill me. Just a fucking cougar. That was a fucking nightmare area. Now I see why the cops don't come there. They don't want to fuck with those things either. <sighs> so stupid. So let's try... Uh, so again, in that sense... It argue we should go back to zero. But just for the sake of, of doing it as a continuing thing... We can say, okay, we have 25k, which I do... Right, so that death didn't really hurt it. But now let's actually initiate something. But I don't want to do it in town still. But they might do it to me in town. Right, so let's try to get out of here as quickly as we can before that happens. So see, like, that jump was not consensual. It keeps doing these things I don't want to do. Whatever it is, it's just annoying. It could be that my controller itself is bugged, or... I don't know. Yeah, all those stupid rolls and stuff I was doing without meaning to. This one's just a little bit inconvenient because I have to do it in such a way that is like, you know, yeah, okay, let the witness do what he's going to do. You don't always have to do this though, right? You could be wandering around doing nothing wrong and they'll still come after you because your bounty is so high. So that, those are the scenarios I like even more. And maybe here they won't send as many as they would if you, well, it can start off like that and then it turns into something bigger. So this could be a problem though. Again, shoot his horse. Then you can figure it out later. But then they might just get back on their horse. Not that I'm even trying to do it that way per se, but... Okay, use that eye. You can go 100 to 0 really quick. Even though you have regenerating health, it's almost necessary here. I don't know why the horse is doing that. And I don't know why I'm not shooting. What happened? Okay, I'm... 
Maybe the controls take a little bit getting used to because I swear it's doing things I'm not trying to do. Oh, they're sending the dogs as if we haven't had enough PTSD from cougars. What is going on? I swear to God. I have to get a new PS3 controller just to be able to do this, or I'd gladly play it on some other context, but I'm not able to. Why is he so slow? Like, what's happening? Something's wrong with this horse, I guess. Maybe he's hurt. And now it's doing it. Now you don't want to escape entirely, but you kind of want to escape into the hills a little bit. Okay, there's too many of them. I don't know whether the high ground really helps you hear that much or not. It doesn't mean you always have to be in horse versus horse combat, but it does mean that you should, you know, use the terrain to your environment. Only get off if you really need to. And I mean, use this shit as much as you really want, but. Okay, I, I can't do anything, man. Gotta get a little <clears throat> bit of a comfort zone. I obviously haven't done this in a while. Yeah, you can abuse this shit out. Oh, yeah, see, let's use this house as a cover point, but it won't really. Well, it could. Donald Pleasance's house after he's so scared of Michael Myers that he retires to the countryside. Render to the law. Okay, here we go. You really think we can hold this shit down, dude? I don't know about it. Uh, am I using, like, a shotgun? Like, what the fuck am I using, dude? Uh-oh, I'm just dead. Wasting it. How the fuck do I even get out of here right now, dude? This is what he's going to be asking now that I kill this horse, but... You can't really do it like this because they're just gonna run up on your dumb ass. What's hitting me? This one was lagging a little bit. I wonder if I could just do that. I highly doubt it. Dogs aren't as aggressive as the cougars, though. You just can't be out in the open like this, though. <sighs> Fucking so stupid. I'm not even. Don't even want to kill these. That's why I always roll away like that. Oh my god. Okay. Very hard for me to deal with these things in close close proximity like that. So I do feel like you have to use stuff like this sometimes. We got him there. Now we got to get the fuck out of here. See, that jump just tells you right there. I, I don't know why I did that. I didn't mean to do it. This is the main gun I ever use too because it's like... Okay. He's rolling like a fucking clown and I don't know why, man. Holy shit, what is going on? Why does he keep doing that? He's rolling and jumping. All I'm doing is moving the stick and, and hitting X to sprint. We can stay on the outside of this. We don't want to really escape, though. We can nab this horse if it doesn't fucking get too far away. Sometimes that'll help me, don't get me wrong. Inadvertently, like, doing that, but... Yeah, how exactly does the high ground help you, dude? This isn't Star Wars, dude. Oh, fuck. Step out for one second. Okay, I gotta get used to this a little bit. Not the least of which is the controls, which I have no idea why it's like that. I, I always ask that same question. So whatever, we'll at least be at the same, the same point. Because I don't want to start from zero just for the simple fact that it's not going to be that fun at that point. Right, like, they're not going to send that many after you. If, if I made, did this, like, every day or I did it for longer periods of time, then I could be a little more harsh with it. But at least it's, like, a continuing series where you're seeing how hard, how you can get it to cumulatively, and you still only get to save your progress if you do really well or if you, you know, whatever you're going to end off with. We have the horse, and I'm a little bit confused with this. I almost want to look it up. But, I don't know. Hang on. Yeah, I can't seem to find an easy answer to it. It's mostly just, like, people saying it's something to do with Southpaw, but I think that's nothing to do with it. That just has to do with left hand, right hand something. <clears throat> I don't see why that would... And it's already off, too. 
I guess I could try it actually. Let's see if it makes a difference. Uh, there's nothing else I see. Targeting mode is fine. Invert, horse, control. This is just like, that has nothing to do with that. Southpaw is on, controls. You can't really change anything here. You're just looking at them. So what the fuck? Let's just see how this is going to work since we've taken away the stress of of dying anyway. Like, it doesn't matter what we do. Okay, now it's like... It's reverse those. Yeah, that, that's just not going to work for me. Even if that did fix something, I don't see what that would have to do with it, though. Um, I love all these random issues that you can have. Like, you go through all this trouble to try to get it to work on a console, but then... I'm not even entirely blaming console for that either, but it's just like... I think if you double tap, maybe you roll, or I don't know, man. Or maybe that just somehow fixed it. Of course, leave your horse on the train tracks. Although you would think it would have the presence of mind to, uh, like, the deer in the headlights, the horse on the train tracks. I'll help you, all right? I'll put you out of your misery. See, I didn't mean to get off the thing. Let's see that guy witness. You have failed to stop the crime. The victim has died. The real crime would be to let him continue living his shitty life in the first place. As if he would need the help of a degenerate scumbag like me. That shows you how lowly your, your whole existence is, am I right? A little bit of evil RP we can do. I just don't give me any goddamn cougars because we've had enough of that. Let's have, try to have some pretty epic gunfights here. Somewhere out in the world. So that one was a little bit hard to deal with because I couldn't find like a really good spot to stay at. Like you got to find a place you can really hold down and it can be very hard to do that. Sometimes the best strategy when you have this many people after you too is to uh, keep moving. But really like to fight on the horse. But then sometimes I become a sitting duck myself too. We just crash into the barn. So this could be a good spot to do it. How much bounty would killing an innocent farm animal give you? I wonder. Like in Skyrim, attacking a chicken or something can kind of set them all after you. Nobody even here. We did kill that one guy, but I guess nobody witnessed it. The guy in the chariot there didn't give a fuck. I didn't even know you could do that physics interaction. Is he going to burn the whole house down? Random deer. Speaking of deer in the headlights, where is he going? Yeah, I guess encountering those three cougars back to back to back was kind of impressive. Oh, he's too lazy to jump over the fence for me. We can't really even do anything in there. Kind of look around. I guess you do kind of have to seek it out a little more than I was expecting to. But I swear, sometimes they will just come after you on their own. Even if you haven't done anything at all. And by which I mean in the immediate present. Like, you have done something very wrong in terms of getting a 25k in the first place. Oh shit, that was a pretty good dodge, actually, right? Oh, she, she was baiting me in the first place. I wasn't even sure what was happening. Let's try to do this one without Deadeye, though. I'm using a fucking shotgun. Okay, okay. I do have the horse and you don't. Okay, I'm gonna take like an hour to kill him. Holy shit. As if my aim isn't bad enough on PC, but at least there you feel more in control of it. I'm not going to. You know, would you spare that chick at the end if you feel like, uh, you know, you were baited? Wasn't there a third guy though? Or maybe he succum succumbed to his wound there. Yeah, the way you can cheese that regenerating health is a little bit crazy. That's what you don't get in. Oh my god. That's what you don't get in GTA with the uh, vigilante missions because you feel like, 
I don't know, you feel like there's somehow... Yeah, I mean, I think that's a fair thing to do to her. Not that we're trying to exactly be fair here anyway. That didn't attract any law enforcement because they just don't care about criminal versus criminal. It's like we're doing their job for them. <clears throat> or they have no sense of honor. They'll come in after the two criminals weaken each other and then finish them both off or whoever is victorious off. So, a control thing is kind of annoying. I don't know exactly why it's like that. Some people are saying it's like a console issue, but I don't see... I don't know, that never happened in any other game. See, this kind of area would be bad for it. Because it's just too wide open, so... Is that like another fucking cougar, dude? They won't really get you if you're going at top speed. I don't think you'll be able to keep up. Yeah, sometimes I am just slow pacing it a little bit too much. This is that one place where you always spawn at sometimes. <clears throat> I forget why exactly. Like if you die in this area, you'll spawn here maybe. Or maybe I just sometimes rested there. Red Dead 2 is better. I mean, I don't doubt that it's very good, but I've never even beaten this. So I don't want to. It's, it's like the old Star Wars prequel thing. Should you watch the prequels before you watch the original trilogy? And the answer is no, you shouldn't, because then the whole thing about him being his father would be spoiled. Whereas it wouldn't be meant to do it that way. But it's the same thing here. Even though it's a prequel, you still shouldn't play it first because it'll spoil stuff. It'll make little in-jokes and references or little, whatever, Easter eggs. Because it would expect you to already know that and have played it. <clears throat> yes, I don't know exactly what the yes is for. But no, I'll definitely play that at some point. I just want to actually probably make a series out of this and actually play it, but or actually beat it. But I don't think, wow, we really have it out for those lanterns today. This is a kind of good symbolism imagery too, right? Make it an RP playthrough. As we go to pick up the thing from the chest. What's happening out there? Watching the prequels. Oh, yeah, I think that doesn't work at all though, because... One of the biggest moments in the original trilogy is ruined then, where he says, I am your father, and the audience would just be like, so what? Like, okay, I already knew that. Like, that's obviously not how it's meant to be watched. <clears throat> like a noose around our neck, symbolically, of the lifestyle that we're choosing to live. Again, I'm, I'm not in control of what's happening there at all. I swear I'm not using that as an excuse either. What the fuck is going on here? What are those, like wolves? Jesus, look at that aim, dude. What is going on? This is why I use my little dead eye as a last resort here. Music is almost a little scary here. <laughs> look at this clown running around. This reminds me of the guy in Silver Pine Forest. Put you out of your misery, dude. <clears throat> Those wolves just ran away. Okay, here we go. We can have a shootout here, I guess. You, get, you gotta have, like, an escape plan. Uh, PS3. Let's go. He had a wife and kids. Well, I didn't see him here, so... You gotta have an escape plan that you can go back... Oh, shit. Here we go. This is very hard. Like, I don't know how I was doing it so smoothly at times before. But it gets uh, pretty insane here, for sure. You gotta shoot their horses as much as I hate to do it. Because then, at least you get rid of some, uh... You get rid of their ability to go away. The civilian's gonna get caught in the crossfire here a little bit. There's no shame in using Deadeye either, because this gets insane. Just get rid of as many with this as you can, first of all. And especially because it'll recharge in the meantime. I'm trying to save it for that dude, but he's not letting me do it. Oh, he used his horse's cover perfectly there. Or did I still get him through that? I don't even know. Fuck. They're being too aggressive right now. Give me a second. I need a little breathing room, dude. It's not even auto aim or anything. I don't. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Damn it. Someone's lagging a little bit. He can't handle all this shit. Yeah, nice aim, dude. 
Holy shit. Okay, I, I better use it on these because I won't be able to figure it out otherwise. Maybe I should try to get out of here now. There is a certain stiffness of movement when it comes to... Uh... Oh, shit. When it comes to the... The, uh, whatever, like collision with buildings and stuff. My aim is pretty bad. I acknowledge that. Dead eye is perfectly acceptable, though. Are you serious with these dogs, dude? I don't want to kill a dog. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, even on console, I won't use that as an excuse because it's just bad, period. But okay, we took out a good amount of them, though. So we just got to wait a little bit. Do a little horse on horse combat. I was at least a little better at this before, I guess. Look at that, dude. Use the train as cover a little bit. Okay, here we go. We have the high ground, but the stupid rock gets in my way. See, sometimes you just get stuck. Like, what? what is the horse doing? What? I guess it's out of... It doesn't condone my dark behaviors. Would you fucking come on? Okay, okay, dude. What is that? Uh, man, the dogs, man. Why are they sending so many dogs at me today? I guess they're just sending a lot of everything at me today, but... We gotta get out of here. I can't fight them like this. <sighs> Give me a second. You gotta skirt around the outside, but never go out of it, because I don't want to actually lose them, of course. I finish what's on my plate like a man of honor here. Ah, they're too... Yeah, the horse just tanked that. Like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Let's go. Animal, I'm not trying to, but I mean, hey, I'm, I'm doing it in self-defense. I'm only trying to kill people, I swear. Which somehow is much better. Oh, I missed the other guy. I didn't even see him there. Okay, go, go, go. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, look at how many I just dealt with, though. That was actually kind of good. You kind of split them up a little bit, not to get too cocky, but kind of using the environment a little bit to my advantage. Where is he at? Good aim there. He's still alive. We hit him with five shots, and he's still alive. What the fuck? Oh, this dude's wearing a bulletproof vest or something. <clears throat> Okay, wow, look at that, dude. No, no, you don't get to run away now and act like, oh, ha, ha. Fuck you, I'm gonna finish what I started. Oh, this guy has a sense of honor, too. He doesn't want to run away. Some of them uh, seem a little bit invincible. I hit him twice on the horse. Imagine doing this without regenerating health, but then it would be maybe unrealistic, or you would really have to find just some cheese spots to use, basically. Run him over, which often doesn't work particularly well. Yeah, now we could loot all that as our reward. See, now they'll give you a little break. They won't just immediately come after you again. And so you could do it somewhere else. That's what makes this experience so dynamic and fun because you're going all around the world and just uh, wreaking havoc as you go. And they're the ones coming after you. You're not really... Although, I guess I did sort of <clears throat> initiate it there, but you don't always have to do that. Why is there so much money? Because, uh... <laughs> you're gonna loot it off all these guys. Yeah, like, what's gonna be higher? The bounty on my head or the money? Wait, why did it go... Why is it not there? It's not very accurate. W what's not accurate? Six, six, six. Oh, I should leave it there. Six, six, six. It's not like I have any use for it anyway. What year is this set in? But I guess I can't do that because I have to loot the ammo too. Or do you loot the ammo? I forget actually what year it's set in. Uh, early 1900 somewhere. That does seem kind of like a cool idea to leave it at six, six, six. But will I pick up the... Oh, I will. So yeah, maybe I don't need money. Then beyond that. How convenient. I thought you were getting 666. Oh, no, that's just my total. I don't know why my bounty amount went away. Maybe if I leave this area, it will somehow show that to me. That was at least skillfully done. 
because I used different environments to my advantage there in a way that even I underestimated. I used the house, but I had an escape plan ready. If I didn't, I would have died. Some of these people are pretty fucking tanky, though. Like, at least use my standard. Like, I would just play dead. You hit me once, I'm going to act like I'm just completely fucking done for. They try to fight back. Not even fight you, but they try to fight, like, uh, you know, to stand or whatever. So this, there's some event that always triggers, like, a little bandit thing. I feel like every time I go by Tumbleweed, this would be a good, good place to fight the, the law, too. Just show me what the uh, bounty total is. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Sometimes it will just go away like that. It's afraid of my triumph, right? Can't even calculate that high. Because nobody's ever been this high on bounty. You just bought GTA 5? I'm surprised you've never played it. The campaign is pretty good, but there are some really boring missions in it. Like, oh shit, look how he grappled onto the horse. At the end there like where you have to move stuff at the dock and it's all these stupid mechanics that you only use once and that have nothing to do with the core mechanics of the game and then obviously i mean that's the point of what i'm doing or rather it's not you're right i'm not trying to kill civilians or animals i'm trying to kill the police of course as if that's much better oh shit, he, he wants to fight back well i guess we got no witnesses then Who's hitting me now? Where is he? I don't even see him. Oh, is he still alive? Or is that somebody else? I can't even tell. Okay, there's another witness there now. But yeah, I mean, I should almost try... Wait, what? What? Did my bounty reset? I just successfully... Wait, the game actually just cheesed me. I just killed... All those law enforcement officers, I didn't die, I didn't do anything, and then it reset on me. Different district. I don't know if that's how this game works. No, I don't think that's how this works at all. Yeah, it's like that in Skyrim. Oh, that's how Red Dead 2 works? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, or maybe it is, and I just never noticed, but that seems unrealistic, unlikely. I've never seen that happen before. I can't believe that. It's not even showing up on the title screen like it's bugged. Uh, what is that? Whoops. Look at the map. Uh, let's just go back to like some other area and see maybe you're right. That'd be amazing if that was right. Like I've done this for so many sessions before, dozens of hours, and I've never noticed that that's the case because I never thought. It just doesn't even show it though. What the fuck? Dotted areas or dotted lines are different areas. Oh, that might be true, I show you, but. But maybe not for bounty, maybe just for other purposes. I don't know. Like, if we go back to the main town, that should be somewhere where we have it. I guess I would just have to reset my save if it's not the case. That's kind of dumb. I have one of the most epic encounters ever that I actually survive and successfully do it. Which is what the whole point of this is, and then I get fucked. The game cannot handle my epicness. Like here, it should certainly be active. I don't fucking get it. Yeah, that would be kind of fun. Like if you, you should stream it. You should stream yourself doing a first playthrough of GTA 5 in the year 2023. I always like that as like a general standard of like for like if I did a movie channel I would love to do it with someone else like uh, let's say oh yeah my girlfriend or something like where I'm showing her movies that I've seen before but that I haven't seen before just so you can live vicariously through their experience which is the whole reason why react content is done in the first place <laughs> you might um, but basically no I'm just saying hypothetically what I'm saying is uh yeah, I actually should do that, though. Like, a session of online at some point. Bounty is at 20. I'm so confused. How could that be possible that... 
What is going on? I know it was 27k at least in the thing. Where is the town? Armadillo, is it? This seems even more bugged than I would have thought because... It was at like 27k. And then it was at like 100, now it's at 20 again. Fuck you. Surrender the law with 20 bounty, dude. All that place arma okay dude good one i could see you calling it that by mistake too i'm genuinely confused as to what happened there maybe i used my pardon letter but i don't see why you would just randomly use it at least if you get arrested or something and they take you to the jail then you'll use it maybe automatically would you just let me see where is that isn't Armadillo the main town, or have I forgotten even that much? Wait. Armadillo, Hennigan, Steed. This must be it. This is the church. I just can't, kind of can't see the town. Normally, it's very conspicuous in the distance. However, I'm straight. I like women, not men. Well, there's still other uses for that. In fact, that might define exactly why it would be necessary. Yeah. <laughs> XQC had a very random conversation about that with like, what's that guy's name? Like Kai Sanat? What other uses does it have to make up for the existence of something that would otherwise be there, let's say. I swear, I, some of these people just seem to come out of nowhere. Like, I don't even know who he is. I still don't know who he is. Like, what is he known for? What game does he play? Maybe nothing. He just does just chatting stuff. So, what the fuck happened? I would love to see, like, how that actually... Ha Something cleared my entire bounty. I'm not going to do it all over from the scratch. That's so lame. At least if I die, which happens plenty of times, then I can understand, but... That's so unfair. Now it's back down to literally 20, dude. That's his main use. So I guess there's no point in doing this. Let's just reset. Fuck me. What little progress I would have made is down the 2-2. Two, 2-2-22. Two. Uh, two, two, so obviously that shows you... That must have been the last time I did it. So I... Wait, no, no, no. 11 24. Oh, wait. That's even accurate. I thought I had done it after Thanksgiving, but that was exactly when. That even shows you. So literally a year ago. I did it sometime in February in 2022 as well. So I definitely did it after. Yeah, that's kind of boring because I've done that too many times. But what is the most recent one? I guess it must be this one. We got to find like a different environment out in the wild to make it kind of more interesting. Is Thanksgiving just Christmas? Not really. It's more like people have a big feast. With family. Christmas is like you give gifts and stuff. Although probably every holiday is like an excuse to eat. <laughs> so yeah, now we're back to 25k. So I have no idea what happened. Sometimes you'll do like an objective and that'll reduce your bounty like let's say a little bit. But it shouldn't be by that much. What's the difference? When's Thanksgiving? It's today for me. Not that I really do anything for it, aside from this. This is my special activity of the day. I like the commitment, though, at least, that I went through all that trouble, set up the PS3, set up the thing that I haven't used in so long, the whole whatever splitter and stuff, just so I could do this, despite how limited my time's been and everything. Why not see? Uh, I mean, I don't really have a ton of stuff to do like that. I don't really like stuff like that anyway. Or I don't like the reactionary nature of holidays. Like if I want to hang out with somebody, I'll just do it normally. Why does it have to be on a holiday? Same thing like with birthdays. Like you, every day can be your birthday if you really want it to be. Let's try to go to some exotic location and hopefully we don't get... Yeah, I don't think it's anything to do with the... Uh, with the location actually because 
You think that gun is any useless than your... I don't know who he's even... Wait, what? Who's hitting me there? How could you even hit me there? That's such an impressive shot. I guess he's not that far away. Because it's tradition to see... You didn't even know when it was, though. You just said when. When is that? I'm guessing it's not something that's... I mean, it would make sense that it's not really something that's celebrated in other places, but... No, but that's what I mean. You're asserting what it's about, even though you didn't even know that much about it. But no, it's not really that big of a deal. Let's go. Christmas is obviously reduced to the cynical capitalism of just give people free shit, which has nothing to do really with anything. Um, yeah, let, let's cross over into the environment. I guess I never thought about it like that. I always saw those lines, but... I don't see how that could be because I even went back to where I already was. Yeah, that has nothing to do with it here, I guess. Uh, some. Okay, let's try to trigger another epic encounter here. That's really lame how it's sold out away from me. When you're so good, the game has to cheat to beat you. Part 1 million, the story of my life. Not even talking about the controls, like even when I do well. Yeah, I had some work to do. I keep overburdening the horse where it just knocks me off. That's one thing I wish when I had more time is like I would do a first playthrough permanent of a lot of games on release like Ace Attorney 7 or you know like GTA 6. Ooh, yeah. I wouldn't really rush it to try to do speed run world first type of thing but I would always do a first playthrough permanent in that context and I could do it relatively smoothly I guess. But even then I take my time so much that it takes me forever to beat games which I like doing it that way but it's just not, I don't know. You're so far the cutting edge, you know, it's something I can't do anymore because I just don't have time and it doesn't suit with, with the way that I do things, I guess. But yeah, that is pretty exciting. Not having played a game of the magnitude of, of GTA 4 would be the equivalent of me not having played this or not beaten it at least. But I never felt the urge to do that in GTA, like where I just aggro the cops and just fight them forever. It's a little bit, uh, there's that one point in the hospital that you could cheese like crazy and just blind fire everybody down forever. Just go out occasionally for ammo. You never played Red Dead? Spider-Man 2. Uh, I did play Spider-Man 2 for the GameCube, but I assume this is like a newer one. It's like one of my first open world games maybe that I ever played because All right, technically it was <clears throat> It's just released. Oh, is that one with like miles? Whatever his name is miles Morales or something Yes Okay, let's rescue her. Where the hell could she be? Like, maybe by doing an act of kindness like this, your bounty goes down. But it shouldn't go down all the way. It should go down by, like, a hundred or something. And I'll end up just killing both of you together. <clears throat> this genre of game is sort of underdeveloped. But there's not enough Western-style stuff or old-school stuff sometimes. The great... Electric spider. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, it's a joke in the game. Yeah. <gasps> Just because I'm too lazy and shitty to aim, even. I wonder if you just let her stay there if she would die normally from that. And the victim has died. Let's see how dynamically he turns on you, too. Look at him circling me around. Impressive. 
Yeah, that's not a bad shot, actually. That is kind of dark, though, actually. Damn, dude. I didn't put her there. Let's actually release her from that if you can. Just shoot it. Oh, come on. You should be able to do that. Okay, we're trying to attract law enforcement. That's all I'm really trying to do. You can tell you're going too far when even your horse doesn't want anything to do with you. This is also true in like Skyrim where it'll run away, but I think that's only if it's like a stolen horse. You help this guy in the game and he says you should call yourself the Great Electric Spider. It's funny. I guess they've sort of milked the superhero genre a little bit too much. Maybe not in gaming, but in in movies. Like, there's way too many and too many crossovers into the Spider-Verse, Metaverse, Multiverse, whatever crazy shit. I'm not even saying that's inherently makes them bad, but it's like a lot of, a lot of oversaturation. You know they died if that X appears on the map. Or GTA 5 had that annoying thing where like the screen flashes a little bit if you kill somebody. Damn, it's kind of annoying to attract the police if you're not seeking it out. Even if you are, it's still not happening. And of course, this is the John Marsden effect that I was talking about where you die to fucking water if you just try to swim. His one weakness. You can kill millions of people here, but not simply cross the water. But that happened to me in Destiny, surprisingly. The ways that I die in some of these playthroughs are so dumb. I jump into like a pool of water in Destiny, and that ends the playthrough. And then in WoW, I die to like the... To some, well, that was like very specific, but... Or how do you get this animation? Yeah, there you go. Like that. Problem is, I guess there's no witnesses around. We keep going to all these secluded areas. Our bounty is still there, so I'm still very confused as to what happened. They caused it to go away. Well, let's just do it again. The goal is to kind of increase it, but we pretty much stayed the same the whole goddamn time here. So let's actually get on it. The easiest way is just to do it in town, but that's kind of boring sometimes. Or, or again, even in the same town, you should always get some variety here. Oh yeah, here. One of these should be a witness. We'll do it right outside of Fort Mercer, too. Damn. Okay, just make sure you get this guy and then don't... Wait, what? The other guy should be a witness, but he almost doesn't seem to give a shit. Like, what if I shoot at him and let him go? I didn't even think I hit him there at all. So yeah, go run and cry to the cops. And this would be a good way to bait them to take out Fort Mercer because you'd be putting them right next to it. Good strategy, right? Like the cops won't come to address an issue. So you call them for something else nearby and force them to come across it. So they at least feel bad. Like, oh, we should probably do something about that too. We had really only one good encounter like that. We had one where we just died. And then a lot of the rest of the stuff has been ran. And we died to a fucking cougar. That was the first death of the day. Pretty unbelievable. This is marked as a rare, as a mature category too on Twitch. Just this game overall. Which I guess any game that's mature would be. But they just added that as like an auto feature. Which I like because then you can't blame me. Like if I don't, oh, I have to put the setting. If the game is rated mature, then just put it automatically, which is a good standard to have. Right? It shouldn't be up to me to decide. Now, obviously, with this kind of format that I'm doing, too, that feels very adult-oriented as well. Very dark and evil type of playthrough character that I'm trying to do. Which, again, even the game doesn't encourage you to do that. <sighs> At least allows you to do it. Benedict Pass. Yeah. Okay. We have like a million witnesses we could potentially do here, but... 
everybody just has a gun on hand and <laughs> they crashed into each other I swear I'm never trying to hit the horse my aim is just that bad what happened to them being witnesses nobody seems to care anymore Gap Toots Ridge. That could be the name of a of a dental office here back in the time. There's like a little station here. We could use this one. Yeah, that's always what you gotta have is a little escape route out of there. Not in like in the neck. You gotta have the horse in the back ready to go. As soon as we get overwhelmed, if we leave it there and then we try to have a shootout in the front, the thing is we need it to stay exactly in place for this to work. And what they send over you here again is not always that big of a deal. It's just. I end up using that animation maybe a lot more than I should because there's only one guy on the map. Now more might come, but for a 25k bounty, you really think this is sufficient, dude? Or now they're coming in still like a more normalized type of way. It's almost impossible to get it to not hit the horse because it's just in the way. And I'm too lazy, I guess, to, to do it without that. Oh, you got to get hit by the train. Oh, shit, almost. That was at least cool that it sort of broke up the gunfight a little bit. Really, dude? That's all we get? Yeah, see, that one's not authentic at all. What is that? That's like a 1k bounty level attack. But that's because I baited it on myself, I guess. Or you could try to fight them, like, while on the train, but that doesn't work because... You know, they won't be able to keep up, so... It just doesn't work. Can you, like, hijack into this game, I wonder? Or there's never anybody even driving it. Or there is, actually. Right? But I think it still keeps going, even if you... Even if you do that, it's not, not just going to stop. They weren't trained for this, I guess you could say. Fuck my aim. You jump on the top of it. Yeah, I would do that all the time in GTA, like where I'd be on top of the train fighting helicopters and stuff. But there they could actually keep up and see you so that wanted level wouldn't go away. Whereas here it almost would be sure to go away. Let's see if we can't trigger more witnesses here. This isn't a bad spot to fight them at. We're at like 26k. Let's try to get to 30k at least. Which again, I'm sure I could do pretty easily in the context of uh in the context of going to the town and doing it like that basically yeah i don't know whether that train will move on its own or not i thought somebody was on there oh that's even mine i didn't even know Yeah, that could be your clutch moment of escape, too. Like, you're about to die, and then the train cuts right in front of you and cuts off the line of sight of everybody on the other side trying to attack you. Meet the sheriff near the rock. See, this... This is the... If you do this, now he might recover your bounty a little bit. Or can you not hit that guy? Okay, so I don't want to do that. We've come across that one like a hundred times in the course of doing this format, though. But yeah, this could be a great format to do for long periods of time, which I often haven't done with it. I think in 2021, I did a pretty long session of it that one day where I was like, I would keep taking breaks and play chess for an hour, then I'd play this for like two hours, then I would play chess for a little bit, then I would keep coming back and forth. That was kind of a fun day. If I don't get to 1250 rating on the chess or whatever, I don't get to eat turkey. But the joke was on them because I don't even like turkey and I don't typically even eat it anyway. 
but basically that was that shows you how long it's been that I still I'm only like 1300 now so you can't really judge it I'm trying to find spider meme <clears throat> maybe you know what would be cool I don't know Oh shit, here we go. Wolves, but you don't even have to worry about them. They're not going to take out the thing on its own. What is this one now? It's like a mine? Yap to the breach. Oh yeah, I think this is the mine that I was so fascinated with. He doesn't seem to give a shit, dude. He's giving up on life. That animation is so suited for me because I'll just give up trying to hit them and just do it like that. Especially when you're using a shotgun or something. Trying to test the physics on the lantern here. <laughs> oh shit. I guess I forgot about that. Is that really how a lantern would work like that? Okay, this is a nice little encounter in and of itself, but it's not going to attract the attention of law enforcement, I guess. Escape into the mines here. Most of these are not immediately hostile towards me anyway. Yeah, this was like a cool little mini dungeon type thing almost. Now they are on alert at least a little bit. This almost feels like a mission without needing to be one. There I was trying to do Deadeye but instead I rolled. And here you get like a little mine thing. May as well just get rid of it so it doesn't come back to bite me there a little bit. Jump over that, which actually might have been necessary to, uh... Yeah, nice aim, dude. Oh shit, don't, don't hit the TNT, don't do it. Fuck. That almost could have killed me right there. Yeah, none of this is actually contributing to my bounty count, but there's no rule against just wandering around and doing stuff. Damn, I'm surprised almost that didn't hit me. I was pretty close to it. Look at Discord. Okay, I will. Later. Oh, is that the spider meme? Okay. Hit that. I wonder if it's going to hit him there. It didn't. Yeah, so much of this you can just face roll and it's one thing at a time because it's like you can just keep using regenerating health to your advantage <clears throat> yeah we should do a duo stream where i make fun of you while you play <laughs> gta 5 for the first time and spoil everything or like, what would be the point even of doing that? Where... I forget, there, there was some sort of format I did like that with a couple games with somebody. Like, like, one person knows everything about it and one person doesn't know anything about it. So it keeps it kind of interesting that way. You're kind of waiting to see the reactions and stuff. Oh, you already know most of what happens? Oh shit, that thing could blow up and kill me. The fuck is going on? Yeah, I always did those with chess where I was the dummy. I don't know what's going on, but there's like a 2000 player in there coaching me or something. You don't know how much you don't know. This place is pretty epic. We always find our way back here somehow. Right back to the gates of hell, right where I belong. Six, six, six money, am I right? <laughs> Don't try to be something you're not, like a Terminator whose skin just regenerates. Only seen clips from different parts. That is kind of interesting, actually. Would be kind of cool. Not that I really have time to do that sort of thing anyway, but it would be kind of fun to, uh, and I wouldn't even stream it. I would just do it. Whatever. Kill you 
like when that guy says, what kind of fucking animal do you take me for? But I did kidnap his wife. Yeah, that's Trevor. Some of the character stuff is a little bit, uh... Like, the characters aren't as sharply drawn as you might think. They're a little bit of a letdown. Not that that's why really people play the game, but... I think GameSpot said that. Accurately, like at the beginning, they gave the game like a 7 out of 10 review. The characters aren't interesting enough. But the whole point is, that's not really why... You know, it's not a big enough thing to make a difference. Even though it's a correct criticism, I don't think it hurts the game that much. Look at this guy's reused character model over here. Oh my god. So who else is hitting me here, dude? Oh, shit. In Australia, we have EB Games instead of GameSpot. Or no, you must mean, uh, like the store, right? GameStop is the store. GameSpot is like a, a review site. I know, it's confusing, but... It's like IGN or something. I don't think they're affiliated at all. Where they had all that crazy stock stuff happen. Like, oh, you know... People are investing and getting money for just speculation alone or something. Parent company owns EB2. Interesting. Okay, I can't blame him if you think he's tanky of that. It hurts, it hurts. Who wrote that one? George Lucas or somebody? Holy shit. I can't tell if it's too loud or something either because I don't know how to do the volume equalization here. Okay, let me have some big shootout with the thing. I had one successful one at least. It makes me want to do this once in a while, but it's such a pain to set it up that this is, that's the main reason why I hate it. If it was on PC, I'd have no, no inhibition about doing it. At a time when I've moved every single series of mine over to PC, I was doing whatever Wednesday on console, I was doing Ark on console, I was doing Destiny on console, so of course I failed that one just to be done with it. Uh, Destiny, I died on purpose just to fucking now torture myself with that. Yeah, maybe I don't have enough time for a long episode, but give me a good fucking shootout. It just sort of killed my enthusiasm to, uh, you know, once I did that. Okay, here we, oh, here we go. 26,000, but there aren't too many yet, but they'll, they'll come. Then you knock him off that. Then you don't even have to worry about hitting him per se. Seems like a shame to use it here, but we'll wait to see if more come. But even though this is a light response that they're giving me, they're not actually... It's not a fault of my... It's not a fault of my thing. Of my bounty. It's not like I reset to zero or something. Because I do feel like... Oh my god. What happens if I surrender? You kind of get arrested and lose all your weapons, I think. Maybe all your money and all your weapons. I'll just pass on by, do something. Who's hitting me now? At least I gained a little bit of bounty there. Yeah, I'll do something, all right? I'll help. Okay, dude, I, I rely on Deadeye a little bit too much, and sometimes I hit stuff I don't even mean to with it, and that just bugged down on me. What's going on? What the fuck is he doing? He's doing a 360 moonwalk. Oh, that was actually pretty badass. Cool guys don't look at headshots. Okay, that was at least a legitimate encounter, so give me a couple more of those. I want to get to 30k. I want to get to 30k. And it only gives you like five per person, so imagine how many, or something like that. Imagine how many you have to go through to actually do this. Go to the pub. I guess I could, I mean... This has been there so many times. I'm so far from it. At least I'll go towards it. Oftentimes, I don't even like to use the map in these kind of playthroughs. I just kind of wander around and wherever it takes me, it takes me. Sometimes they just don't even flinch. Like, he, he got shot, but then he's just 
full, like nothing happened. Yeah, that would be the easiest way to do it, I guess. Just keep doing it in the town over and over. Not to say that's easy at all, because it's very hard to manage, you know, how many there are and how many places they're coming from. You can find, like, one little ch choke point to cheese them from, but generally speaking, it can be pretty tough. So even that one I just did was not as easy as it looked. You just start off dead eye a couple of them, then you gotta hold your own for a little bit. I gotta be a little more mobile when I'm doing this though on the horse. Right? Like I sometimes get too slow. You can still hit X and do this as you're shooting. So here you shoot him, let him be his own witness. Is that already it? Is that HQ Armadillo? How could that be so close? That must be something else. No, no, that's like a little farm or something stupid. Why couldn't I see Armadillo in the distance before? Can't really do much with the train there. That would be very interesting. You know, a lot of the time I say, like, oh, I'm playing a game for the first time, but I'm really not because, you know, even Red Dead 2, it would be a first playthrough, or even this is a first playthrough, but I've still played it. It's just I've never beaten it or done much of the story. I think all I did in Red Dead 2 was, was the tutorial thing. Okay, we're going to get a little bounty attack here. But see, that doesn't even make sense because that guy's a law enforcement officer, but it's a one-on-one, -on -one, dude. Like, really? That was an encounter? <laughs> that actually counts. The most epic battle you've ever seen. This dude's running away like a clown that he is. The train already went the other way. So is this house icon kind of actually armadillo or is it something else? I guess it is. Remember to save progress, but yeah, I'm not allowed to until the very end of the session. So, if I die, then I lose my progress. Not that I really made any progress. Like, how much have I gotten? I started at 25. I'm at 26. Just to make it more interesting so it doesn't feel like, you know, I'll have to go back to wherever I started at the beginning if I, if I die as a punishment. Not that I'm going to die, of course. Yeah, but th this spot can be a little bit tricky, actually. Yeah, let's just go buck wild on him then. As our last resort. I guess it's been long enough before I've done this, so it's fine, but it is kind of overwhelming. That guy's not even a law enforcement officer. He's just one of those clowns who wants to duel you, I guess, somehow. Okay, we better watch out what I want to do here. Got to be very mobile, but it can be hard to do that. I don't even see too many of them yet. But I shouldn't speak too soon. It's almost like they've run out of people to send at me. They've almost given up. Yeah. Oh, no, no. We maybe don't want to be in here. Um, they had, like, such a good time for Rockstar when they did L.A. Noir and they did this and they were sort of venturing out. Like, with GTA V, they didn't do shit. They just did the same thing. And exploited it for shark cards. At least with GTA 4, they wanted to experiment and really branch out and do interesting stuff. Right, so I kind of like that mentality at least a little better from them. Try to do it the hard way instead of the easy way. Like, uh, you know, Valve with Steam. Like, what, let's make Half-Life 2. Let's make one of the best games of all time. We make a name for ourselves, which rightfully so. But who else is hitting me, bro? They do it quickly, quickly. We don't get a headshot there, but we get two neck shots, which should arguably be enough. Okay, we gotta watch it, watch it. Okay, where's this dumbass at? I don't even see him. Oh, what the fuck? I can't keep track of... What the fuck? I couldn't even see, like, where I was getting hit from there. If I want to be lazy, I can just farm it out in town from the beginning. That almost makes it too easy, though, in a way, but... 
from behind. Yeah, they're kind of all over. It's hard to find a spot in there that's that's secure. They're not been sending as many big waves at me on the outside, though. First of all, they're not really doing it on their own without me having to initiate it. And second of all, they're not doing... Well, yeah, see, why did I end up here now? Well, that always gives me a good excuse to maybe start a gunfight here instead. Oh, yeah, have you seen my little art for this one? Probably not. Let me show it off for a second. <clears throat> oh, thanks. Yeah, and that's supposed to be like the same saloon, too, in the background. Because that's where so much of the action even happens. What did he say? Don't ignore me? When did I make that? That was a, probably a long time ago. When I maybe was first doing this one. This series, which was many, many years ago. I can't remember exactly. Don't shoot a woman. You gotta shoot who you gotta shoot to get the action going, dude. So we'll hold this spot down. This is maybe at least a little better because they come in from certain choke points off the outside here. Everybody just has a gun at the ready, man. You only have one law enforcement officer. I swear they've actually run out of people to send, dude. I think he's being all sneaky there using the wagon as cover. Nice, dude. Wooden wagons are impenetrable by bullets. Sometimes it's easy to get lax when there's only one. Oh, here we go. Only one thing on you, but they're sending them in at least slowly. Look at this degenerate using his horse as a tank. It's my fault for hitting it, but I mean. It's just good sometimes to slow things down so you don't accidentally die either. Because it's early 1900s. And in America, everyone has guns, I guess. But I mean, not just that they have one, but they have it at the ready. Like, they, they're expecting you to do what you're doing. Like, would the reaction time really be that good? They just have it on the fucking trigger. Okay, what is hitting me at this stage, dude? There's only, like, two people out here. It'll... Tr oh, my God. It'll troll you because it'll be somebody who's not even marked by one of that. He was, like, blind firing. I don't know why it even spawned me there. They heard you shoot the woman. Well, that I know, but I mean, I wanted that to happen because... Okay, this is always the same spot. We'll do it again, dude. Yeah, did you hear that? I even broke the glass. Take revenge on this stupid area where these people were trying to kill me without even the help of law enforcement. Taking it in their own dumb hands. Look, look, look at that. We shot the gun out of his hand. And then he had another one. Look at these god tier civilians. I literally shot the pistol out of his hand. And he fucking pulled out a shotgun. In like 0.5 milliseconds, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, let's make sure we don't leave any stragglers, dude. Somebody wants to be a hero, dude. This ain't reality TV. See, look, look at that. Look at that. Who is doing that? Like, who do you think you are right now, dude? I got 27k bounty on my head and you want to fuck with me? Probably not a bad idea, though, because you'll team up and actually end up killing me. Okay, they do start sending them in, in large numbers here, but it's okay, I guess. What you need here, actually, is the long gun because you're going to be able to... Uh, You know, you gotta hit them at a distance here a bit. Oh shit, that was an epic explosion, which I wasn't actually expecting. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, I complain about them being bullet spongy, but... Of course, we are the king of that with our regenerating health clown show. Yeah. Oh my god, what is going on? I'm just not taking them seriously enough because there's so few of them. I was doing better when there were more. Or like I'm staying too much in one spot here. You just saw me take out like fucking 50 of them in that one encounter. Which is normally how it's supposed to be. I'm trying to play this too much like a normal, respectable thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, they've learned their lesson now in the afterlife. Everybody's always at the ready with this shit, dude. Everybody has it, yeah. Average day in NA. Not because of what I'm doing, but because of how repaired they are on the other side. Here he comes, dude. The hero to save the day. Oh, at least he... The pussy and he's running away. Okay, let's see what I can do with this, but I'm having a little bit of trouble with this area for some reason. Yeah, this is not even worth using because you got to get so close to do it. That's my big mistake. You got to use the long gun and you got to use it in such a way that you're not putting yourself at as much risk because they are more accurate than you might think. Yeah, I would have had to put a mature tag, even if this game wasn't mature, just because of whatever format that I'm doing, but it obviously is appropriate regardless. If you kill them too fast, maybe, then they also stop spawning them, but I think that was just the horse taking it upon himself to deliver justice. You see, it's an RP type of thing, so even if I die, I'm doing it on purpose just to show. Yeah, there weren't even that many that they sent at me. I'm doing it on purpose just because I deserve it. Because I am the bad guy, of course. Not just because I'm bad, period, in the game. But that environment was kind of good. But see, that wasn't enough of them for somebody with 26k bounty. Like, there's something wrong. The game can't really process how far we are. Because you would get that many at, like, 10k or 5k. Only sometimes are they sending me the true amount. And either it has to trigger on its own or just somehow... Every once in a while, they'll do that for me. <clears throat> yeah, I'll try to get my setup going a little better, too, in my other... My other setup. Six hours. That's surprising, though. I mean, he's in here every day, regardless whether he uses his other account. It does feel like a lot more than that. Like, what would mine say? Mine would say, like... Obviously all the time because well actually not because I don't always log in so I'm sometimes just watching it period on. on your alt I thought yeah, yeah But two days one hour. Yeah, that sounds more like it pretty much just since I started doing it Of course that would have been nothing from before because I would have streamed so much has spent four hours and 50 minutes. Yeah, so come. Oh no, it's still more though on stars. Between the two, it's like 10 hours plus. Right, so we did have at least a successful encounter there, which gave us a decent amount. 26k. I mean, we got to at least get to 30k. I'm taking it kind of too casual, but it's okay. I mean, whatever. It's just a fun little session to. I'm never good at it because I'm just doing it for the first time in so long. And I guess the last time I did it really was November. I've shown pretty good discipline, like with, you know, like even with Skyrim. How can I only manage to play that once a year? But I guess I'm so busy with so many other things that I somehow am okay with that. Like if I wasn't streaming, I would never be able to do that. But because I do it on sort of a fixed schedule, it's like I actually get immersed in stuff and I actually, not that I don't off stream, but. I actually finish stuff a lot more reliably. Like, I'll make a series out of something, and I have to do it. Like, and I'll commit to it and actually beat games instead of just playing a little bit, starting them, and leaving them hanging halfway, something like that. Although I did do that on my old channel. Like, I left a lot of series hanging kind of at once. Right, like, Hollow... Where are we going with this, huh? with this building? Hollow Knight, like Symphony of the Night hard mode, PvZ hard mode. Oh wait, isn't that where we just were? I guess I could do another one there. Let's test it. When did I have it? I think I've already talked about that a lot. Many, many years ago. <laughs> Fuck, I do all that and I just end up in the same place. I thought I was going to Armadillo. Yeah, go ahead and do the distance. Even he has the right idea. I need to get out of here. 
All these random explosions are nice. Like an outlaw in the headlights. I really said much about it. Oh, I've said. I mean, whatever. If people know, people know. All the drama that happens over the years, like fucking Alex Botez or Diablo, all the hate that I get for certain takes that I have, which are often pretty factually, objectively correct, and nobody ever rebuts them. Instead, they go for some sort of ad hominem thing and dislike it a lot, but that still doesn't make the point, right? It's like whatever ad hominem stuff you say, fine, maybe it's true. I am a dumbass. I'm a moron. I suck, but that still doesn't address the point, right? Like it doesn't mean that you're actually right or like that I'm wrong, right? The point can be seen objectively in and of itself, regardless of that. Look at these blind fire clowns, dude. That's literally me in GTA 4. How much could you just do this over and over if you... Oh, we get that and the animation. I was about to headshot him anyway. That's actually weird, yeah. Lee's made this fun for me, dude. Yeah, I'm not used to sensitivity, I'll admit. Okay, 27. This is going to take a while. So, can we do it again here then? <laughs> Fuck. Let your own horse trample you over. Where's the other dude hitting me? Sometimes they're so accurate from even a decent distance. I don't know where he's hitting me from. I almost wish you could go first person here. I'm sure you can in the sequel. But yeah, this is one thing I didn't like about this model of design was that the, you, your walk speed is too slow. Your run speed goes, you know, from too slow to too fast. There's nothing in between. And then you like there's some sort of weird collision with walls and stuff and buildings, which is maybe tied to the which is maybe tied to the hover mechanic because you can take cover on like where the fuck is this guy, bro? Is he actually on the chariot? Who is hitting me? Okay, our bounty's up again. So we're, we're get farming out a decent amount here. But it would have gone a lot better if they had just... Uh, there is no first person. That's surprising. Or at least with like the remaster of G... There was none in GTA 5, but then with the remake or the remaster or whatever ended up on PC, then they ended up doing it there instead. Right, so they added it later on as a feature. Imagine Bethesda being able to do it, but not you. Like, what is that, dude? For games where it's not even as relevant, really. Ooh, the fuck keeps hitting me from these unknown locations, dude. I swear. All these vigilantes just chilling in base. Trying to avenge all their wives that I just killed to try to aggro the law enforcement. That chariot looks kind of in a sad state. That guy's a super mega tank. Maybe if you wait here a little bit, two more will come, but that's almost not even something you should do. I'd rather hit them anywhere than try to go for a headshot and waste time and leave myself exposed. 27,400. So I, mean, I got to get at least to 30k. <sighs> I don't mind doing a shootout in the other town, but basically... It's a case where... My sniper? Yeah, I don't even know if I can get stuff like that right now. But yeah, it'd be hard for me to use a shot because I... Whatever. Everybody's gonna attack me on sight, but they kind of don't always do that too, which is kind of a good thing. So the lanterns somehow start explosions. 
Let's see. Will they actually come for me? I've been kind of lazy with actually looting stuff, too. This is kind of good enough, though. It's still a long gun that's going to reach a good distance here. Will this lantern actually go off? Oh, shit. It does. I don't feel like that's actually how lanterns work. It might start a fire, but it won't explode like that. Like, it's a fucking grenade or something. Now, you'll have two witnesses. We're kind of trying to farm out this location, at least, which I'm sure I've done this one before many times, too. Well, that guy's still alive. I used the whole dead eye and everything on him, too. I forget how you do the flick thing. You're supposed to, like... You go... You hit like that, and then you do it. Right, you do your little LT thing to to go iron sides or whatever. So that's pretty good, I guess. Let's do one big shootout, maybe an armadillo or something on the way. That last one didn't actually go all that well. I lost my six 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 dollar thing too. Okay, we're pretty far from it, but it's okay. Let's get there. See, this gives you such a good excuse to spend so much time in the world and do all this stuff. Like, it's still substantive because this isn't that different than doing missions or whatever. It's actually probably better and more badass. But you have all these dynamic encounters in different locations, although I'm not really taking advantage of that as much now. Or they're not sending... Did you play R Red Dead 2 again? Did you beat it? Like, you beat the campaign? I guess you could play it online. I don't know. Try to do a... I would try to do a permadeath run, but I guess I would do first playthrough permadeath anyway. But yeah, I mean, the online, I'm sure, is pretty good. Or that's almost how Rockstar has been doing things. They'll make the single player good, but they'll make the online great because they'll put so much more time and effort and money into it because they make so much more money from it. Buy the season pass, buy the new DLC, buy the shark cards, like with all these incentives buried within it that are unfortunate. But even GTA Online must be very impressive and quite a spectacle, but it's always so hard to keep up with those things, even too. Like, I played it a little bit and I liked it, but I didn't like online because there's a bunch of people who have a lot of good things and you get killed instantly. But isn't that how all online games are, basically? I mean, there's a sense of it. But yeah, you get, like, these fucking meteor strikes from outer space, like, in GTA V. They can, like, call down an airstrike or something anytime they want for X amount of money. Skill-based ma Well, even if there's not matchmaking, you're just, like, in an overworld. And it's, like... You know... Like, that's what I like about GTA Online, actually, is you're, you're, you can grief people, but it's meant for that. So, like, somebody's just chilling in their car, and you just blow it up and kill them. Now, they can be on passive mode where you can't do that, but as a general standard, it's kind of like, you know, th there is a sense of that. Like, you're just in the world, and you're one of the civilians that they can kind of fuck around with. <clears throat> yeah, you can make some pretty sick westerns in Australia with the with the environment. I'm sure they have movies like that. Is it really a western though? It's more like an eastern. Is it any sort of de desert environment type of thing? It isn't this how Australia looks like? We're practically in Australia right now, at least parts of it. Kind of maybe. There is a lot of uninhabitable part of it. Right, that's what people always say is like, whatever part of Australia there is might be, you know, very nice and livable, but there's a large chunk of it that you can't live in, I guess, at all. Or at least that isn't inhabited yet. The more central you go, the drier it is, I see. We should have the horse close by just so we can escape, but I didn't like the way that one went. Because I do feel like... I don't know, something's missing here. This can be really hard, because they'll come from the outside, too. So what am I supposed to do? I could try to pull them away somewhere. 
No mercy. I hate when these people who aren't even marked on the map start to get all cheeky with you. Where's he at? There's he at. Wow, can I do that? Go fucking prone and slide like that? Okay. Take care of this dude. I'll try to take care of this dude, this dude, this dude. I don't know if that guy's even a, a lawman there in the middle. I guess he was. But that might seem like cheese, but the whole encounter is cheese because I can barely fucking stay alive for a millisecond here. Uh oh. It can be very, uh, very unfair sometimes, I will say. Come on, get this guy in the middle. Fuck off, dude. I'm gonna get killed from behind while I'm trying to do this. Oh, that should have been explosive. Yeah, it really doesn't look good, but I don't know where this one guy is. Hiding in plain sight, eh? Okay, we gotta focus, focus, get this guy, get this guy, get this guy, get this guy. I mean, play a hopscotch in the middle of a gunfight. They're not coming as aggressive. Well, they will be, though. Oh my god. Gotta keep changing your position, throw them off a little bit. Find a place that they can't deal with you too well. There's a place called Copper Cooper Petty where all the horses are built into the ground. Because it's too hot houses, it's not horses. Because it's too hot above ground. Interesting. Okay, go ahead. Get this dude, get this dude, get this dude, get this dude, get this dude. I think I'm missing headshots even when I have this capability. Everything in your path dies besides that chick. He's still bleeding. Oh god. How is this one dude causing such havoc on me? Like, relax for a second, dude. Please. But they always leave their horses and let them run ahead. I guess because they don't want them to get hurt, of course. But I would never lay a finger on such a beautiful beast. Intentionally, but they always get, get in the way or they always... They always, uh... Whatever. Use them almost as cover that way. Wow, did I really just get that guy in one shot? I hit him in the heart. Gotcha. See, that first hit is all that matters. Because at least you're stunning them a little bit and stuff. Use this dude. Use this dude. I guess I interrupted it myself there a little bit. I don't see exactly where this guy is, though. There's not even that many on the screen compared to what you sometimes see and still having trouble with it. What the fuck? I can't see where this guy is at all. It's the bank's money, not yours. Oh wait, I'm not even robbing a bank. It's the civilian's town paid for by their tax money, not yours. So why do you even care? Okay, I see you there clowning around. That wasn't even still so crazy of a of an amount that they sent at me, but it's like playing whack-a-mole, especially if you had auto-targeting aim, because then it's just a matter of going in their general direction and just doing it. Oh, I couldn't even tell whether that was a guy or not. So whoever this clown is by the fence is really confusing me a bit. That still won't even get me to, 20, to 30. What the fuck? Look at him trying to flank me around. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to do that. Look at his awareness, dude. He's worse than me in a MOBA multiplayer shooter game like Overwatch or Paladins, where I just don't really give a shit what the other people are doing, and I just kind of do my own thing. So let's do another one. This is where it can be kind of dumb. Imagine if that guy just solos me, though. What a hero. I don't know if this is really going to do me much good, though, because we've already exhausted them, so this is almost the way I don't really like to do it. When you just keep using the town over and over like that. And yeah, there won't be any witnesses because we've just done too much of this, I guess. Revolver ammo. I kind of need more long gun ammo here. I could get in trouble if I have to rely on this only. 
Yeah, he called exactly. Herbert Moon. No, it's John Marston, dude. Shopkeeper has been killed. Now it's unavailable for five days. Yeah, like really, I'm going to be doing this again anytime. It'd be five in real life days. I still wouldn't care. So, I mean, we just kind of own the town, dude. You want to try to kick me out of here? This could be kind of a fun online encounter. Like you do this and unless somebody stops you, you can just hold the town for ransom, basically. Pick up some of these. I have a decent amount of ammo here, but nobody's going to come after me now. They're scared. That's what will happen. Up to a certain... Why is he trying to, like, run me over or something, dude? To a certain point, people will try to come after you because your bounty's high. But once it gets past a certain amount, then they'll be like, forget this. Like... You have 50k bounty. This guy's a psycho and he's way too good. We're not, we're just gonna ignore him because let him do whatever he wants. He's just way too dangerous. How did that not kill him, dude? So nobody seems to care what's going on. And killing these people doesn't even give you a. They could have been the biggest heroes in the world if they actually did that. Just run me over. How are they hitting me from that far? Look, we still got him, too. Yeah, this guy, I'm kind of wreaking havoc. But all I'm trying to do is attract the attract the law enforcement here a little bit. <clears throat> like, I normally don't try to do it like this. I'll try to go wander out somewhere else. But basically, if you, you know, want to test it, let's see how long it'll actually take for it to get to that point. Everybody is just packing and ready for a fucking scuffle. 67, what is that? Only 36, so we're going to have to rely on the pistol a little bit. 92, this one I don't really like that much. This guy is just so oblivious to what's happening. He almost deserves what's coming. Uh, nobody seems to really care or, or be doing anything about it. You're really going to let this town get overrun for this long? I'm not even trying to do it like this. Can we get like a witness or something? <laughs> Go to the gun store. I don't think there is a gun store. Didn't I just kill the guy? That must be the shopkeeper was talking about. Gunsmith. I wasn't even doing anything to him though. As much as I say you can still play the game normally. It's not a case where... Shopkeeper has been killed. Okay. I scared him. I don't think I even really did anything to him, but just because I'm so hostile right now. <clears throat> produce. Yeah, that's what the law enforcement needs to do. They need to produce some officers and some results, dude. Come on, that was a modest goal. Thick headed guy. Who is saying that? Okay, let's try to go out somewhere else. Maybe we'll come back. I guess you can keep resting in bed and saving it, and then I could restart and sometimes give you an encounter that way. It's not been as dynamic and fresh as I sometimes hoping. We had that one good encounter at the beginning, and then it didn't count, or it reset my bounty after it, so that kind of pissed me off a little bit. This would be the best way to do it, I guess, but I was only using the same spot over and over. Like, where? Okay, you got a witness, but like, where are the officers to whom you need to witness and report it to? Like, there's nothing going on with that. What did I do here? I kind of stood around the outside back like this. 
So here we go. This should push me to around 30k. This guy's aim is god tier, dude. What the fuck? He's gonna solo me before anybody else even spawns. Or he's gonna be the only one left. At least when they come in waves like this, like one at a time, then you can deal with that. Look how fast he comes in though. Oh shit. I want to blow you up by hitting one of these canisters or something. But here is kind of like a tight entry at least. So they have to come through. Right. This is kind of good as long as they don't come from behind a little bit. Got to stay mobile. Now that should have been an animation kill. Your badge is going to save you. It might literally save you. The classic thing from a movie where you thought you shot them, but it actually the bullet got caught on the badge. That's good. Let's see what we got. Oh, that was a bad miss. Bad miss again. Bad miss again. Okay. All right. Use that as a last resort or a first response. Either way, it's not good. Can we do it? I'm, I'm trying to do it. Okay, I guess it just doesn't work. We do it like this. Where is this dumb guy at? Got him in the head, but it doesn't care. Bulletproof hat. They will flank you a little bit, but sometimes they... They lay off and give you a chance too. 29k. We got a focus here. We got a lot of dead eye in our in our repertoire here. Oh my god. You can use it for one at a time too, but I mean I don't feel right for doing that. Yeah, this is even better than bullet time because it literally fucking homes in on stuff for you too. Gotta use the pistol maybe a little bit here. <laughs> too damn close, huh? Seems too far for me to actually aim properly. More like it. This is the same guy who I missed the headshot on before. You go ahead, take care of this dude. Kind of in a good central position here where I can kind of control both sides if I just pay attention. Map here is your best friend, of course. Well, that guy, she made a pretty good dash for it. Be aware of all flanking positions. I should be an expert at this town because I uh, have done this one so many times. Get his hat. Get his hat. I swear, sometimes you will just shoot off their hat and not even get them at all. Okay, he should be dead around the other side now they they keep losing interest too i don't want it to reset on that count that would count as almost a fail itself almost like you're running away which is not my style at all like a one verse 50 dude and i still win the problem is you're still not gonna get quite to 30k i mean keep abusing this dude i don't care my aim was a little better. We might not need it, but. Sometimes they survive when I really don't feel like they should. I'll be honest with you there. There's one dude up top. Which I tend to not really like using that here. It seems to expose you a little bit too much. Okay. 29.658. We still need more. Equal opportunity, dude. I save you just so I can do it myself. Pick up all this ammo. We need like maybe one more like that, but I don't really always want to do it in the town. Feels like I'm just doing it as pure like padding amounts. Like I'm not really doing it in the dynamic way that makes this whole format fun, but that wasn't actually too intimidating, but I guess I'm some of these I'm handling pretty well. It might seem easy, but if you are moving around in kind of the wrong way and you're exposing yourself too much it can be really hard one of them should still survive and be a witness for us i guess 
Assuming that they can even handle that right now. I love this Norton fucking pop-up that I always get, even when I'm not playing on PC. I still see it in the background there. I uninstalled it, I disabled whatever I could disable, but it's still there, haunting my computer forever. The real virus is Norton itself, am I right? Yeah. Let's do the finale then. Unfortunately, it's it's a little bit harder to seek this out, I guess, than what I was expecting. I don't know. I feel like I said that last time, too. Where I spent maybe a lot of it just dicking around, looking for them, waiting for them to come to me. I should measure exactly how much each one gives you, too. I forget. I feel like it's only, like, five, but did I really kill that many of them? You're killing, like, 20 every 100 that you're getting. They slowed down there, but I mean... Are you gonna be a witness or what, dude? They don't seem to give a shit or there is nobody to witness to, I guess. Drive-by shooting in the old days would have been like this, dude. On a fucking horse. she like one more good encounter in before it's only like five of them and it still won't be enough because you really only need like 500 400 yeah i'm doing sort of a hybrid interpretation of it the raw way could be to just start a new game every time you die or start at zero every time you die here it's more just like a session based thing where i can't save it until i do what i'm gonna do Okay, see you later. Yeah, thanks. You too. Not that you actually probably do anything for it. No, almost as little as me then, because I don't really do anything for it either. This is a normal day. Bye. Yeah, it's a normal day for me too, except I can't like go to Walmart or anything because everybody's fucking closed. Can you believe that? Even Walmart, of all things. I thought they'd be open like half the day or something, but I think they were just closed overall. Okay, give me the 500 and just don't die. Those are the two criteria I want. We end up waiting a whole year just so we could farm the same town that I was even saying I didn't want to do again. Uh. Whatever happened to them just chasing you on their own, dude? It happens, but it just doesn't happen often enough. So I had to keep seeking it out a little bit here today. Okay, now a lot of the people have respawned. Which means you would think the law enforcement should respawn too. Problem is too many of these people might take it upon themselves to try to... What? I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to reload. We could then just whip that shit out, dude. All right, let's see what we can do. Control the position like I was doing before. I don't have enough ammo to actually do this though. Hey, witness, like really you would, you would have so little integrity. I guess $10 was worth a lot back in that time. This one doesn't have to be that big of a thing. It could just be enough to get me to 30,000. Hey, Zix, how's it going? Okay, I shouldn't actually get baited by trying to go in that direction. That can be a suicide. They always lose interest so fast, though. I'm afraid I'm going to reset it. I don't know how I'm even hitting him with that hitbox there. Okay, there's a lot from behind me there. So let's focus on this side for now. Is that one of them or is that somebody else? Oh, there he comes. Okay, we go ahead and use this, use this. I almost just use it defensively more when I feel like I need some time to regenerate or something. Is somebody behind me hitting me? Two! No! Fuck, there's too many of them. Fuck. 
Okay, this is good. This is good. Keep changing your position. It's very hard to hit them through these stupid fences and stuff. Come on, this will be the last epic encounter if we can just survive it. My aim is so trash, though. Okay, somebody's trying to be all cheeky and flank me. I see you coming, dude, a mile away. What the fuck? I might see you, but it doesn't mean I can hit you, dude. Wait, he's still alive? Okay, that seemed unlikely. Now I know how they feel when I keep cheesing with my regenerating health. I swear to God, if that's not a headshot, then what is it, dude? The fence is in the way of everything else. Okay, dude. Get him there. They're kind of closing in on me a little bit. I can't tell where some of them are. We were over 30, so we just have to make this make it through. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Get this guy. I can't tell where, where that one came from. Okay. Whatever. Go back behind. <laughs> Being free means you don't have police. You learn new things every day. He's okay, still alive. That's fine. Finish him off. You can't tell if it's actually like dropping frames sometimes too because it feels like uh, not that that's an excuse for my bad aim, but like where the fuck is this guy, dude? Oh shit. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. That stupid rope or whatever is protecting him. You get him there. He's still not dead, apparently. What is going on, dude? They're using bulletproof vests now. I wonder what they had in the realm of that actually back then. They must have had something comparable, but not probably easy to come by. There we go. That's good. Now at least they're all on one side. And as soon as I say that, they all march up. Okay, go ahead. Just play it safe. Get rid of both of these clowns as they rush me. Good. Watch the other side. Or maybe I shouldn't. There's enough people here as it is. Sometimes I'm just shooting to get their attention. Not that my aim is really that bad, of course. Okay, there's somebody coming here. There's somebody behind me, too. I don't like it. Do that. You're like hip firing that one, even though you're not able to hip fire in this game. It just gives the illusion of it. What? I can't understand how some of these people are dying. Okay, this should be in the clear. I think at some point they do just stop coming because I even sometimes try to bait out more by not killing them. Oh, shit, I'll try to get all fancy with the shotgun, but get myself killed then. Okay, whatever, whoever hit me there was pretty impressive. Yeah, so you could wait here for like an hour, and I don't think any more will come. They just run out of people. Where the fuck is this guy? Oh, I, I'm so blind, dude. I like how you can do that sort of pseudo hip fire. You kill these two with a sense of style, and before that's my famous last words. But I don't even have shotgun bullets to do that with. I mean, you can do the the close up animation with any of them. That should almost be a requirement. Yeah, you should have to like run up on the guy and do the animation. But I'm not going to risk dying to do it. How would I do that? Or it's going to fuck up and end up getting me not even killed, but resetting the encounter. Oh, shit. I even did it, too. Okay, so we got the 30k. It's not like a big deal, but we kind of got... To, uh, we better save it before they send more at us. I got to find a way to get them to come after me more in the wild, though. Because sometimes I don't like having to do it always in town, or at least not in the same town. 
So either you have to initiate it or you have to initiate it in a highly populated area, but sometimes they'll come after you just randomly in the wild. After a hard day's work, we can rest. We do get to keep that amount of progress. We got like 5k. Uh, and only one of those felt like really aggressive. Yeah, that even shows you last Thanksgiving. I swear I played it somewhere in between, and I'm sure I could do it again before then, but that was still a good session. I always liked this format a lot. But again, a, arguably a better way of doing it would be if you're able to... Uh, if you're able to basically... I guess I could make three of them. Maybe that's why I was sort of paranoid. But I guess the only difference is a couple K bounty, so it's not that big of a deal. It takes me a whole year to do that amount of progress, though. But no, it's like... I don't know. You, you could do it in, like, one shot if you had enough time, where you just go, like, from the beginning of the game or from zero and see how far you can get in that context. But that would just take me all day. Okay, see you tomorrow.